guys and welcome to Laughing Noir's Comedy Reports and Predictions. This is our second ever episode, so thank you so much for coming back. Hello to all of you new people, and for everyone watching, we hope you enjoy our crap. Hi guys, thank you so much for coming back. We're going to start off this week's show with a new segment that we like to call... It's time for this week's Weird Facts. <laughs> this week's Weird Fact is that your chances of being killed by a vending machine are actually twice as much as being bitten by a shark, which is mental, although it would have made a much less impressive film if Jaws had actually just been about in a tuck shop with loads of vending. That wouldn't be... This is the part of the show where we get to know some funny unknown comedy kings. It's a naughty word, isn't it? For my first ever funny unknown comedy king, it has to be Daniel Kitson, a man who began performing at the age of 16, and he said from then on in he knew he always wanted to be a stand-up. He got nominated for the Best Newcomer at the Perriers in 2000. And won and went on to win it in 2002 for the best show, aimed just 25 at the time, aged just 25. And from then, he's gone on to win Fringe Flurst at Melbourne, along with numerous other comedy accolades, but generally tends to shun press and media interviews, saying that he's a bit shy for that, and shuns TV, saying that you have no control over the finished product. There are two exceptions to that that Peter Kay thing and Phoenix Knights, which Kitson both appeared on, however, fell out with Peter Kay over both of them, got into a huge argument, and said that he would never do TV ever again. He still remains one of the most credited and lauded people in the industry, with numerous awards, and definitely a good contender for a funny, unknown comedy king. Here's a clip of him performing at the Melbourne International Comedy Festival. Um, <laughs> now, um, I was once asked by an interviewer what I found funny, and I said, well, the thing that I think's funniest in the world is pigeons. I find pigeons an innately funny creature. Um, I, I like the way they walk. It's quite funny. I, I can't be cross, angry, depressed, fucked off with the world and watching a pigeon walk at the same time. <laughs> It's almost like somebody once lied to pigeons and told them that they'd all got a... F you see, the funniest thing that pigeons do, um, I say, remembering that I've missed a bit out. Uh, <laughs> that, that bit that I'd just started in quite a casual way actually relies on this bit. And if I'd have just done this bit, I wouldn't have been able to do this bit. And this bit's the funny bit. Still, you know, snip, snip, cool. Um, so... Uh, <laughs> You don't know me. Uh... Time for my prediction of the week. This week's prediction of the week is that nothing is going to happen that is going to be as funny as Pig Gate was. Well, it is that time to say goodbye once again. Thank you so much for watching this week's Laughing Horse Comedy. If you have enjoyed it, please add us on Twitter at LH Comedy and also at Free Fringe Fest as well. You can also find us on Facebook. But all that is left to say is thank you very much for watching. Have a great rest of the day and hopefully we will catch you next week. <laughs>